happening everybody? Within the next four hours, I will be boarding my flight to USA for the West Palm International Boat Show, uh, as well as a whole bunch of other content. But I wanna take you around some of my um, my essentials when I go on trips like this. What I pack, what's inside my camera bag, and um, just the overall preparation. So I got a lot of stuff, and I think more than 50% of my stuff is all camera equipment. When going, like the last thing I even worry about is clothes. In fact, half my stuff is still on the line over there. Like, drying before my trip as long as all my main essentials are in place and we're good to go but i do want to just walk you through some basics okay start with passports one has an old visa in one has a new visa in i need both to showcase when i arrive in the usa um, my main camera is a sony a7 III um, i got two lenses that go with it which is a 55 to 210 um, it's a kit lens but it really does do the job quite well for an affordable price and then the second one is a uh, 28 to 70 or so kit lens but a really good one in my opinion a lot of guys have have been skeptical about it i've had some insane shots of these so uh two lenses full spectrum and then the body really does do the majority of the work for you which is the a7 III this is my two go-to camera I'll be using it for vlogging, I'll be using it for cinematics, I'll be using it for everything. It's got a hefty price tag, but it was voted like best camera two years in a row. So pretty stoked about having this as part of the kit. Uh, jumping onto GoPros, there's one GoPro over here, which is the GoPro Hero 7. This is my main, main, main camera when it comes to capturing time lapses, when it comes to doing hyper lapses, everything like that, as well as stabilization and first person view. Don't get a better mount than this. It's the original GoPro by, um, mouth bite mount. Um, it's honestly, like you could you could literally start an entire channel with those two things. I got the GoPro Hero 5, which I sunk my last one. This is my brother's one, which I do use sometimes as a backup. It's honestly, I think the second best GoPro they ever made. GoPro Hero 7 and the Hero 5. Jumping on to the Sunnies. I recently actually met these guys in Australia. It's called Pacifica Optical. Uh, I've got, we must have six Sunnies, Bex? Yeah. Six or seven Sunnies from these guys. Everything from polarized to um, non-polarized and I take at least three on my trips. I might even take four on this trip, but um, I really am a Sunnies fan. Okay, moving on to the next one. Still got the uh, Mavic, the old Mavic uh, drone, but I might be upgrading now on this American trip. Um, that being said, I filmed 100 YouTube videos with this thing and it's honestly, it's like, it's essential. But um, a perfectly good drone. If you are looking to get into drones and you don't want the hefty price tag, then you want the Mavic. The Mavic Pro Original is perfect. Recently upgraded my laptop. I made over 100 videos as well on a 2012 MacBook Pro with four gigs of RAM. It was shocking, it crashed all the time, um, but it is possible, it's how I ended up having the majority of you following me was from that old shitty laptop, so it just goes to show, uh, like you don't need something like this, but I eventually made the decision to upgrade and it's just sped up my entire workflow. So it's the uh, 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro, 16 gigs of RAM, quad core. So not the top of the range, but definitely good enough for what I'm doing. Uh, one extra battery, and then for the flights and for when I'm editing, I have the uh, Bung & Olufsen H, the HB9 H9 or something. H9 or something like that, I can't really remember. This is actually a gift from the boat owner of Murdy I that ended up giving these to me. They're like 500 euros for these things, so I'm pretty stoked to have them, super noise cancelling. I'm stoked to have these as part of, the, part of the arsenal. Okay, moving on. I seem to have breezed over this quite quickly but this is the Ronin S this is like probably one of the biggest investments I've made for an accessory to film this is the um, for those that don't know this is a massive stabilizer it is the biggest nightmare to travel with but it is something that I feel like I need I'm always on boats moving parts the whole time I'm always shaking I really need a stabilizer um, and it just seems silly to have such a beautiful camera like the Sony a7 III without having something to keep it stable. Uh, additional accessories, Joby Gorilla Pod, everybody knows what these are, I can just mount them everywhere. Uh, sometimes for vlogs, I just use it like this. And then the only GoPro accessory I feel like you ever really need. I had the suction cup for when I was on Modi Yacht I uh, eventually lost it because it kind of popped off, but this clamp is amazing. You have the GoPro on here, pop this off, um, I vlog like this sometimes, chuck it back on, connect it to literally everything. I've connected this to people, like on their shoulders and stuff. I can just somehow always work. Two hard drives go with me on a trip. One filled with all my previous stuff, one empty so that anything like now with this three week American trip, I'll just be pumping everything onto this one, but I need two at all times. But this is, this is the overall kit that I travel with. A drone, a GoPro, a couple of accessories, my A7 III, and usually Becca, the one filming this right now, but unfortunately she's not gonna be coming with on this trip. I think this will be the first trip. I didn't make the cut. This will be the first trip Bex and I ever have done in four years. 
yeah. where she hasn't joined me on the trip, but I told her I'd make her make it up to her. So you did? We'll, yeah, oh. well, we're gonna go to Sri Lanka, we're gonna go to Europe oh. when I come back, and you know, she's on this trip. Um, but we can I try think and... everyone should comment below if they want to see Becky in the film, and then you should fly me over. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get this all packed up, and then Bex, you have to take me to the airport. Hmm. Bex. <laughs> You can't come on this way. <laughs> I gotta get all my clothes pretty much in here, so I don't have that much. <laughs> you can't keep doing this. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. She makes my life harder to travel because <sighs> so damn cute. I give up. You can just stay there and then a couple more essentials. Beck is apparently one of them. <laughs> What do I have to deal with when I have to travel without this girl, man? Washing has a nice view, hey? The washing feels yeah. seriously. <laughs> okay, back to it. Okay, so my flight in 20 minutes. I'll be flying from here to Heathrow, Heathrow to Miami. It's about 25 hours total worth of flying. Um, but just speaking about flying, speaking about travel, when you work on a yacht or when you maybe even own a yacht, anything to do with that travel and meeting deadlines can be really difficult because you might have a flight planned and the boat's arriving at a certain port but was deviated because of weather. Your visas might be denied if you're a South African or if you have visa issues and restrictions. For those of you that weren't aware, I did make a video linked above on my YouTube channel, the vlog channel, about how stressful it was to get my visa. And the conversation came up with these guys that I booked and got the flights booked with, which was GMT, it's Global Marine Travel. Um, they specialize in marine travel and dealing with somebody that understands the difficulties of meeting certain flight deadlines because of a boat's itinerary or whatever it is. These guys are super helpful and I just want to make you aware of it. If you're a yacht crew and you don't know your time schedules and your timelines, um, you guys are the perfect people to be speaking to this company. Basically, all flights are changeable, all flights can be cancelled up to four hours before departure time. So naturally that's like a last minute thing that you want to do, but as long as it's not within four hours of travel, you're actually capable of changing or altering or cancelling these flights. Um, also all flights are considered a seafarer's flight, a seafarer's ticket, so basically extra luggage is an extra benefit. So bear that in mind if you guys are ever looking to travel and you're looking for people that understand your circumstances. GMT, they are linked down below, they will help you guys out. Not being paid to say this, I just think it's a really good thing to know, considering there's like 45,000 boating enthusiasts following this channel at the time of making this video. But other than that, my flight boards in 20 minutes time, and uh, I'm taking you guys along the whole way for the trip. So, we'll see you in a bit. Hello, anybody here? Nope. This is what 20 plus hours of travel feels like. Oh, blue water yachting, this place looks amazing. Guys, I'm gonna have to show you what this looks like tomorrow, but what I can tell you, where's a boat? There's gotta be a boat, there's a boat. What I can tell you is these next three weeks are going to be a test on me as well from the perspective of how many films I can make while I'm here in USA. I just feel like I want to take you guys along with this ride as much as I can. There's going to be content for boat owners during this trip, dealing with the charter boats and the West Palm Beach Boat Show and a whole bunch of insights orientated around that. There's going to be videos for crew on these three weeks, which is going to be orientated around um, training courses and a whole bunch of how-tos and going live with the actual crew agents, the guys that are getting you guys jobs. There's going to be just some average vlogs orientated around Fort Lauderdale and what's happening in this area. There's going to be 
so much that I've been thinking so hard about these last couple of weeks. I'm going to figure it out tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. I have a meeting with uh, the Blue Water guys, the guys that I'm here with, um, to just kind of outline a little bit more about what I'll be doing here with them. So um, I will keep you posted on what that is tomorrow. But tomorrow we will do an apartment tour. There's a little balcony. We'll do an apartment tour for sure and uh, we'll talk a little bit more. But for now, I'm pretty wrecked. I'm going to have a shower because definitely smell. Smash that subscribe button if you want to see some crazy content over the next three weeks. I'm very excited. I'm very, very grateful to be here. And I'm very grateful to each and every one of you for watching these videos, smashing that like button, commenting down below. Um, so let's engage over the next three weeks. I'm very excited. Thanks, guys. Check you on the next one. Hello, anybody here? Nope. Just me and 45,000 subscribers. <laughs> oh, Jared, you crack me up. <laughs>